Since the release of the new gauntlets in Souls RNG, there has been one question on everyone's mind. Which gauntlet should I use on my left hand? Jackpot or gravitational? Well, today we're going to be doing a test by playing with each glove for one hour to see how many stars we will get with the gloves. Whichever glove gets the most stars wins and will be crowned as the best left-handed gauntlet in the game. Also, once we reach 40,000 subscribers, I will be giving away an extra 10,000 Robux to one lucky subscriber. So if you'd like to potentially win that for yourself, make sure you're subscribed. And we we're in. Okay, so currently we do have the galactic device equipped and the gravitational device, but what we're going to be doing is swapping out the gravitational device for the jackpot gauntlet. So let's do that now. So if I go into inventory, go to gears, we can replace the gravitational, put the jackpot on, and this will give us an extra 77% luck and a minus 7% cool time. And of course, 77 cash for every time we get a jackpot. Now to keep this experiment fair, I'm actually not going to put any potions on for the duration of the both hours. And we're just going to have these two gauntlets on and an auto roll. I want to finally find out whether it's actually worth using the jackpot or the gravitational device because I actually have my suspicions that the gravitational device might not be as good. So in order to find out, let's go into a public server. We're going to run the jackpot gauntlet for one hour and then we'll do the gravitational for one hour straight after. Let's go. And we're into a public server. Okay, so let's get the auto roll on and start the one hour timer. So let's see what we can get with this. I do actually have the stars set to 9,999. So this means every time a star comes up, up. Ooh, and we got a star straight away. Wait, what? This looks like it's a Luna. Is it? What did I just get? Oh, Nautilus. Okay, yo, that's not bad at all. So as I was saying, I do have it so that every star will come up and then we'll just count how many stars I get on both hours. And I think that's how we'll conclude which gauntlet is actually better. By the way, I know some of you guys are going to comment, ah, oh, one hour isn't long enough. One hour isn't long enough. Yeah, well, we're gambling addicts here. We don't have time to be experimenting for that long. We need the stars now. So that's why I'm only going to be doing it for one hour. Plus, let's be honest, I don't want to sit in Souls RNG for 24 hours straight recording. I think my mind will get blown up. Off. In the meantime, though, I am actually going to try and make a bunch of heavenly potions as well, just because for a future video, I kind of want to have them ready. And I don't want to make the same mistake twice of where I get the glitch biome and I don't have any heavenly potions ready. So let's go ahead and get those on auto add. Where am I up to the heavenly two? Oh, okay. So yeah, let's get these on auto add and we can start working on that in the background. Nice. I do sometimes genuinely wonder about lucky spots as well, though. Like, do lucky spots actually work? I mean, probably not, but I swear, whenever I'm in one of my lucky spots, I actually do pull a lot more stars. Can you guys do me a favor? Can you leave a comment down below what your lucky spot is? And I might make a video trying to do all of your guys' lucky spots because I think there might be a little secret to it. One spot that I really like is inside the altar. So let's go in there and we'll chill in there for like 10 minutes, see if we get any stars. Okay, we're inside the altar. So you can see there's two beams here, right? There's one beam right here and then there's one beam right here. We're going to be getting on top of this beam and the only way to do it is to pull out your arcane and you have to TP across because you you actually can't jump like let's try to jump yeah yeah you can't jump across so we need to use our arcane ability to get there so if we go to arcane equip and now let's tp across did I do it? Oh, I did it. Let's go. My toes are dangling off. Okay. And now let's go hypervolt because it just looks super cool when you're up here with a hypervolt. Oh yeah, look at that. Okay, let's go AFK for a little bit and wait to see if we get any stars. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's just going to be another Nautilus, isn't it? Why do I keep getting so many Nautilus recently? Okay, well, let's keep it moving. Oh, and I've got another blue star. Wait, is this a bounded? Oh, it's breaking. It is a bounded. No way. <laughs> Every time I'm up here, I get bounded. What? Oh, it does look like someone's actually found us in here as well. Look at that. <laughs> is it real, Batcha? How did he find me? How did he know I was here? What? <laughs> he said he's at his lucky spot. Dude, he knows. He knows. He said I'm trying to get across without arcane. It can't be done. It cannot be done, my friend. <laughs> He's still trying. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it just can't be done. I've tried it many times myself without the arcane. It can't be done. You need to be able to TP across. This guy just said, I think jackpot is better. I got hypervolt arcane, undefined, defined, six comets, bounded, Poseidon in one night, 12 hours. Wow, okay. So he's saying jackpot is actually better. Hmm, I guess we'll find out by the end of the experiment. <laughs> oh, wait, this is pretty cool. So we've got two hypervolts now. I'm on one pillar, he's on the other. And there's a dude with an arcane legacy that's just come to join us as well. Well. Oh, 
Yo, he tried to TP from one pillar to the other. That's kind of insane. I've never tried that before. I wonder if that even works. Oh, it looks like we finally got another star. It's been 30 minutes since the last star, guys. And I did actually get an undead there. Wait, what is this? I've been absolutely crowded on top of the pillar. Dude, <laughs> what have I come back to? Wait, literally, what have I come back to, man? <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> I guess we'll keep AFK in on top of the pillar and see if we get anything else with these guys here. Hey, yo, we have got another undead. Let's go. So I think we're up to five stars now with the jackpot gauntlet. And I'm still absolutely swallowed by these guys here. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many people in here now. What? What's happened? Where are they all coming from? That's actually so funny. Okay, so we are on five stars right now. Let's go. And that's actually time up now for the jackpot gauntlet. We made it to one hour. I did only manage to get five stars in the end. I really thought I was going to get a lot more. I don't know what happened there. Now, instead of staying in here, I think I'm going to mix it up and go to a different lucky spot. It's gotten so super crowded in here, man. <laughs> Wait, can you go up here, though? I've actually always wondered this. How do you get up there? What if we go to a different aura? A celestial, maybe? So I'm floating. Oh, the celestial works, yo. Oh, and we've got another star. Mm, does that count? I'm still rolling with jackpot. Okay, maybe we count this as the sixth star. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Okay, you know what? Let's go outside. Let's go to a different lucky spot and test the gravitational glove. Uh, so whilst I'm trying to get into my next lucky spot, now we've got another star. Okay, we're not going to count this one, though. It's just the rage heated. Let's see if I can do this jump. Okay, we did it. First tee. And uh, jump across here. Okay, there we go. I think this time we're not going to get as crowded in this lucky spot. If they manage to get here, they have some epic movement. Because this is a really hard jump to do. All right, let's get the hyper vault going. Has anyone pulled anything crazy? Let's see what the best auras are that they've pulled so far. Also, how cool is this lucky spot? Noodle actually showed me this one. I didn't know about this one until Noodle showed me it. I'll use max luck if it rains. Oh, sick. Okay, we can see a max luck in this video as well. Oh, yo, we've got a star. Wait, but I'm using the jackpot gauntlet still. Okay, this doesn't count. Dude, why am I getting so many stars now, though? I've had three stars in, like, what, five minutes? Okay, none of those stars count. Oh, I got another star? No. What? Okay, so the jackpot gauntlet only got five, maybe six stars if we count the last one. And since then, we've had four stars. Let's take the jackpot gauntlet off. What's happening? This literally proves that one hour isn't long enough for this experiment, though. Because in the first hour, we got five stars. And then in five minutes, we got, like, another four stars. But anyway, let's now take off the jackpot gauntlet and equip the gravitational device. So this obviously just gives us a 6x look on the bonus roll. Now let's give it one hour again, even though I know that isn't long enough. Don't worry, guys. But let's give it one hour and just see what we get. Okay, auto roll on. <laughs> look at them down there, though. <laughs> oh, bless them. That's so funny. I mean, that is one way to escape the fans, right? <laughs> if you guys can get here, honestly, mad respect, because it's so hard to get here. Wait, you said I was on my laptop in school. I was going to use Max Luck in Souls RNG, but I didn't know I would be in a video of badger this guy's literally grinding at school all right all right mad respect using max luck potions whilst you're at school that's kind of crazy <laughs> okay well let me afk for a little bit again and let's just see if we pull any stars now wait just as i was about to go afk i see them all trying the jump look at them everyone's got the arcane out trying it you know what new challenge set if they get here 1000 robux for them wait let's do it first one to get here gets 1000 robux dude there's no way i honestly don't think they're gonna be able to do it it's really hard it's really Really, really hard to do. Oh, it's raining. Wait, is he going to use max luck? Is it this one? I think it's this one here that's going to do the max luck. Oh, I did get a star though. Okay, I got an undead. Wait, but am I missing the max luck? Please go away undead. Okay, so that's one star to the gravitational device. Come on, Toby Gaming. Pull something crazy, bro. Oh, yo, he got gravitational. Wait, that's actually not bad. Let's go, Toby. Not bad. Not bad at all. If he doesn't have a gravitational, that's pretty good. I already had one, but now I've got two. Okay, that's actually pretty bad. <laughs> that's not what you want. And they are still trying the little obby i've set out for them come on guys you got this you got this i believe oh wait somebody's made it to that part of the leaderboard wait can he get up though that's the hardest part honestly i don't think he understands the hardest part is actually the jump up he said can you give me a hand <laughs> bless him look he's dangling let's zoom in on him a little bit <laughs> look at him you got this bro oh Oh, he almost did it. Oh, that was actually so close. So close, man. So close. Keep trying. Oh, another one made it. Wait, this is such a fun challenge for these guys. He's stuck as well. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> Wait, they're actually kind of doing it. He did it. He did it. Oh, can he jump across? He did it. Yo. 
Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll give him 1,000 Robux for that. That's so cool. Admin, I'll give you a Robux, bro. Congratulations. Oh, we do have another contestant. Come on. You got this. Do the jump. Is he going to do it? Oh, he did it. He did it as well. No, I actually can't believe that. I honestly can't believe that. How are these guys doing this? Even I struggle with this jump. Oh, he, oh, <laughs> he clinked onto the edge. <laughs> Let's go. I honestly didn't think these guys were going to get up here. That's insane, dude. Oh, and someone just found an exotic and another person found an exotic as well. Oh, yo, we got an undead as well. Okay, now we're cooking. Let's go. Wait, is this the second star, I believe? Let's go. There is no way we've got another undead. What is this undead cycle we're on? No way. No way. <laughs> What? Is that four undeads with the gravitational glove? Oh, okay. Undead devil. Undead devil. Okay, that's a little bit better. I'll take it. I'll take it. So we're on four stars, I believe, for the gravitational. I'll double check at the end, but I'm pretty sure we're on four. And we've got a rage heated as well. Okay, we are currently on five stars now. Wait, the gravitational device is kind of cooking though. Let's go. We're on five stars. And we've got another one straight away. Okay, you know what? Gravitational device wins. It just does win. It's definitely the better device to use. I mean, are we always getting the stars on the 6x? Uh, I don't think so, but are we somehow getting more stars? Yes, yes, we are. It's nothing to do with the fact that this is an RNG game. Don't worry about that. Dude, I cannot believe all of these guys have actually made it here. That's actually kind of impressive. I really didn't think anyone was going to make it. <laughs> crazy, crazy. I mean, they have been going at it for like 30 minutes, but the determination is admirable. And another undead. What is this? Undead graveyard or what? <laughs> wow. Okay, so we're on 7 stars and five of them have been undead or six of them something like that that's crazy oh yellow star okay this is gonna be a flush lobotomy dude we are pulling in so many things i actually have flush lobotomy equipped right now as well <laughs> look at us and we've got another undead what is going on i've literally got the undead curse right now how many is that i've lost count seven undeads eight undeads well the gravitational device is definitely one so let's just keep going no way we've got another undead oh it's another undead devil? Oh, wait, I'll take it. There we go. Another undead devil. We're actually cooking. And there we go. That's actually one hour up for the gravitational device as well. So in the end, the gravitational device got 10 different stars. And when I say different, I mean seven undeads. Like, how does that even happen? Seven undeads. And the jackpot gauntlet only got six stars. So in the end, I guess the gravitational device is better. If I wanted to do this experiment better, I would actually do it for 24 hours instead. But you know, like I said at the start, we're Souls RNG players. We only have an hour at a time. Give us the most amount of stars that we can. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I guess as a conclusion, you should always be using the gravitational device. And with that, I'll see you in the next one.